Thank you. Uh, men and women, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in our pleasantries and our formalities, on too many bathrooms and far too many painful conversations, long-standing assumptions about a gender binary and male preeminence have lingered in our culture and in our language and in our laws. Our culture has too long attempted to enforce two rigid, mutually exclusive genders upon every person, regardless of their experiences or preference. But I believe that every individual has dignity, that each of us is due the respect to choose not only our own name, but also, but also our own identity. You only need to know Ashley's and Hunter's, Lee's and Leslie's, Sam's and Chris's to know that you might need more than a name to know a pronoun. You don't need to have a radical politics to say they and them about an unidentified person. It pervades common speech. To realize a more perfect union, we need to affirmatively change our customers and our linguistic habits to leave pronoun choices to the person in question. That we continue to shift that has brought us police officers, firefighters, and flight attendants where gender titles once stood. Today I ask my fellow members of council to take one such step to rectify an archaic but unnatural assumption as per our home rule charter that men and only men could, should, or would serve in this august body. I ask that we present to the voters an opportunity to entitle those represented positions to reflect the possibility for each and every citizen, no matter their gender identity, to serve this city. Because in the city of Philadelphia, we should treat all our residents like siblings, equal in the eyes of God in our, and in our laws. And with that, um, Council President, I hope that my colleagues will support this resolution as well as to commend the um, Supporting bill number 170365, I move for the adoption of the resolution. Thank you. It has been moved and seconded the resolution be adopted because resolution number 180834 is an amendment to the Home Rule Charter. It requires two thirds vote. Therefore, the question now shall the resolution be adopted? Mr. Decker, call the roll. Councilwoman Bass. Councilwoman Blackwell. Councilman Dom. Councilman Green. Councilman Greenlee. Councilwoman Gim. Councilman Heenan. Councilman Johnson. Councilman Jones. Councilman O'Neill. Councilman O. Councilwoman Parker. Councilwoman Gunnar Sanchez. Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Councilman Squilla. Council President Clark. Aye, the ayes are 16, the nays are zero. Two thirds of all members of council have been voting in the affirmative. Resolution 180834 has been adopted.